Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we will be talking about idol skilling and more specifically how to acquire all the secrets that currently reside in the game. So for those of you who don't already know there will be spoilers in this video so if you don't want to be spoiled then please do not watch this video. Alternatively there is a wiki to this game which also includes how to obtain each secret which I'll put a link in the description below if you wish to view it but I'll try and give you some tips to gain the secrets as quickly as possible and currently there are four secrets in total so in the beginning of the game you'll find yourself quite weak and will probably die more often than not so once you die you will come across death who will give you 10 seconds to kill before respawning you back to the monsters you were against so death has 10 million hell points but unfortunately uh, idle attacks do not work so i found about roughly between 36,000 to about 50,000 minimum damage and all skills such as like might fury uh, sorry, Flurry, Media, etc. working together at once uh, to be able to kill death will pretty much help you. Um, but once you're successful, it will take you to a secret area known as Death's, for death's Throne Room. Uh, this can be accessed from the portal screen after you unlock each secret area. So you don't have to go and kill death again to gain access to the secret area again. All you need to do is go to the portal and then wait till, you know, death's picture comes up on the secrets before clicking on it and then you go back to the uh, throne room. So in the room you'll see a small figure and clicking on him will provide you with instructions on what sort of materials that you will need. Uh, and each secret area excluding the last secret will ask for three materials whether from mining or fishing. So for Death Sun secret it will ask you to offer the following three. The first is 25 medium yellow fish which uh, requires level 12 fishing. The second is 10 blue sharks which requires level 24 fishing and the third is 5 hammerhead sharks which requires level 56 fishing. So I find going from level 1 fishing to level 56 is an absolute pain and will probably take days in game to about a week depending on how active you are in the game. So it is well worth going into the raids and gaining trophies from the raid bosses and then using those trophies in the gift shop to increase your starting level for fishing and mining as high as you possibly can. Uh, I found between level 10 to 20 is a good starting level to help with this uh, issue. So once you completed successfully gave the now orphan son these materials you'll be rewarded with a plus 30 percent more kills when defeating monsters which can help with getting further quicker uh, completing certain contracts easier than before although if you end up killing two monsters every one attack you still only gain gold for only one monsters and not the two so the second secret is called the defiled pig's head and in order to access the secret area you will need a smithing level of 20. This will open up the blacksmith pill uh, which you can either craft the materials needed for it or you don't even have to craft. Uh, simply all you need to do is drag the pill over to the blacksmith and you'll be taken to the blacksmith's fever dream which is aka the pig's head on a stake. But if you find this does not work, you may need to gather the materials needed to create the pill before dragging the pill over to the blacksmith. So, like the first secret, we need to click on the pig's head, which will give us instructions on what to offer up. The first is 99 effluvium. I'm sorry about the names, I'm terrible at names. So, 99 effluvium ore, which requires a level 30 mining. Uh, the second is 3000 dub lube neum ores. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. 
uh, which requires level 50 mining. And then the last one, which wants you to uh, give $10 fish, which requires level 60 fishing. But once you've completed, you gain a plus 40% AP every time that you ascend, which is pretty, uh, pretty helpful. So the third secret is called Fisherman's Folly and you will need to assemble three parts for this secret. So when you unlock fishing and go to the sea fishing screen, on the right side between levels of your mining and such and the fish that you've caught, you'll see something bobbing in the water. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on it and it will give you the first piece of the gramophone. So the second piece is actually located in the strength mountains. So it's usually located from the first skiller who is pushing the boulder. It's usually inside the boulder. So increasing the skiller's speed will give more of a chance of this piece showing inside the boulder. Uh, if you're having problems finding this, then click on another screen before returning to the strength mountains. And then click on the boulder for about roughly 10 seconds. Once done, head back to the fishing docks and you'll see if you've acquired the horn. Uh, best to keep repeating this process until you have got it and it shouldn't take you long. Uh, it didn't take me long to do that. And then the third piece is uh, pretty much situated in the second secret area. So if so, you'll need to go to the portal and wait for the pig's head to appear on the secrets. This will then take you to the pig's head once you clicked on it. And on the ground of the picture will be a small oval round disc. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on that to gain the third item required for this secret. So after this you'll need to head back to the fishing docks. So clicking on the gramophone will now play music. Well, not in-game music unfortunately. But the last part to gain access to the secret area is to have at least about a level 60 in fishing. So once you're at level 60, you need to have the gramophone on as this will not work otherwise. So you also need to stay on the fishing dock screen until you catch a money fish. Once the money fish is on the rod, it will stay there and you will not be able to catch any more fish until you click on the money fish that is on the rod. After that, a fish or what seems to appear to be as a giant glam, clam eats the fisherman and then takes you to the secret area so again you must give three items so one million effluvium ores which again requires level 30 mining uh, you need nine million in copper ores which requires level one mining and then one million old boots which require one fishing uh, level one fishing so once completed it will reward you with a plus 50% uh, more fishing experience while offline and also a plus 50% more fish caught. Uh, once gaining this secret it's best to turn the gramophone off as anytime you get a money fish it will not catch any more fish until you click it. Uh, so if you're going to get more experience for uh, fishing and you stay on fishing uh, you'll probably have a bit of a problem with that. So at level 40 smithing you'll be able to create enigmatic boosters which will improve the secrets bonuses by 2% per level uh, from your ignatic boosters. This only includes these three secrets and doesn't affect the last secret. However, the main rewards you get when ascending you will keep any enigma boosters added will not be kept after ascending and then you will have to recraft during that ascension to boost each reward up. For example, again, once you've done Death Sun, you will end up with a plus 30%. If you do enigma boosters and you buy uh, 5, you'll end up with a plus 10% on top of your 30%, which does 40%. When you ascend, it will go back down to your main uh, stats so it will go back to 30% and then you have to buy uh, 5 of the ena ig ena enigmatic boosters to get back to the 40% that you were on so just so that you guys know you don't lose your secrets you just lose any boosters that you know boost up your stats 
So the last secret is a collection of secret places you need to press. Uh, some have black squares whilst others are pretty much well hidden. So what I will do is I'll put more put images up of each one and where to find them. So the colours that I will be talking about as well will indicate on the 10 spots that are around the secrets portal. Uh, if you are missing a certain colour, all you have to do is find out what colour you are missing. Uh, so you don't have to go through all these areas just to figure out which one that you didn't click on. So the first is Cyan. Uh, cyan is found behind the bottom right window that provides details on a selected boss in the raids. Green is found on the middle right part of the pig's head screen, secret screen in front of the palm tree leaf. Yellow is found behind a boss's thumbnail image on the top left of any raid boss battle screen. Orange is found on the gym training screen. You will need to press the white semicircle to hide the icon and it should be a small black square behind where the attack Jojo would be if you didn't have that minimised. Red is found on the top right corner of the training help screen. This can be accessed by going to the train button and pressing help. Navy is found on the lobby screen when starting the game, beneath the lower left corner of the news window. Purple is found behind the top right corner of the Midas skill perk in the green perk screen. Pink is found behind the flesh on the top right part of the fisherman's secret screen. White is found on top of death's chair in the death secret screen. And black is found underneath the left part of the contract podium on the left side of the screen. Clicking on all 10 will reward you with the total playing time you've acquired in the game. So, for example, uh, you get 50% uh, DPS bonus between 0 days to 29 days of in-game play and a 100% DPS bonus for playing 30 plus days on this game and this cannot be increased. Um, this does actually inc uh, include uh, time candies as well so if you've used a load of time candies or stuff that will be added to the days that you played as well uh, for you guys. Anyway that's all the secrets in these games. Again there is a wiki which I'll leave in the description below if you do want to check that out uh, just to refresh your memory. Um, you know I do have a Facebook and a Twitter account if you want to talk to me on there. I do also have a um, Discord account which I'm fairly regular on so if you want to talk to me on there about any of the games I play or just generally want to talk to me then I'll be over there as well and if you do like the games uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll see you all soon. Ta-ra!